almost all of my most, if you want to look at it from a professional standpoint, like my most incredibly critical professional opportunities and decisions have come from Slack in the calendar, right? So there are the, the must-do things that are important, like we talked about, the, for instance, some of these things that I put on the calendar for the next month or two. But beyond that, because that's the most important thing, beyond that, after something like this, a book launch or a TV show launch, whatever it might be, I leave a lot of the calendar open because I cannot, whatever I might plan, I assume cannot take into account the, the incredible and fascinating things and people that will come out of the woodwork as a result of, say, mm-hmm. a launch like this. Mm-hmm. So I just create the space for that. Uh, all of my best investments, you know, if you look at like Twitter, Facebook, Uber, Alibaba, all this stuff, they all came from gaps in the system. Mm. Uh, yeah, not through some crazy grand design, no, whiteboarding no, no. how this is going to go. No, no. I mean, if it's, it's for me, and I had a conversation with Tim O'Reilly recently on my podcast, which was so much fun. Uh, for people who don't know him, you can just check him out. He's, he's uh, considered, or he's been nicknamed the trend spotter in Silicon Valley. Really good guy. And uh, he spends a lot of time just sitting in stillness and just listening. And you know, that's either going to make some semblance of sense to people or it's not. I won't try to like, really dig into it. But through meditation and other things, he's, for instance, on his one habit that has most positively impacted his life in the last year or so is on his morning runs. He goes running every morning. He makes it a point every morning he goes on a run to stop and take a photograph of a flower. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's an example of just like stopping and experiencing some stillness, and then he'll just pause for a second and then continue on his run. And I'm tr- I think I've, I've spent so much time yelling at myself internally for so much of my life, there was very little stillness. And now I'm taking time. And look, I still have my monkey mind. I still have bullshit that bounces around in my skull. And when I sit down and meditate, for those people who might be wondering, I, if I meditate for 20 minutes, I'll take 19 minutes of that. It's just like to-do list, porn, stupid argument, imaginary, hypothetical discussion I might have. It's just nonsense. And then there are like 30 seconds where I'm like, oh, this is possible. Like this, this state of stillness is actually possible, however brief. And learning to, instead of constantly yelling at myself,